What is up, Rosemary Dash here, and welcome to episode 6 of World of Warships for Beginners. My series, we're going over the pure basics of setting up account all the way to advanced tactics at the end and everything in between to make you a better World of Warships player. So, in this episode, we will be diving into each of the classes and their strengths and weaknesses to try to help you find what would be the most fun route for you and help you kind of pick whatever ships I think you probably fit your playstyle the best. Um, in the last episode, we picked some pretty good captains your basic captain builds i'll put a link down below in that video that will hopefully help you out and uh pro as you progress through the line and get more and more captain points so there are four classes in this game and for this series in particular we're going to stick with the usn line because the usn line is one of two nations that have all four classes now there's four main classes in this game there are some subclasses we'll get to those later um let's just stick with the pure basic classes of aircraft carriers battleships cruisers and destroyers so destroyers are going to be the stealthiest class in the game. If you like playing almost like a ninja-esque role in this game, the destroyers are going to be for you. They're a good mix of guns, torpedoes, stealth, um, some kind of nifty tools like smoke to get away from things, as well as you can be kind of role-specific ships, which will do kind of some fun builds later with some high AA ships for shooting down planes. But your main objective is going to be, one, taking out enemy DDs, as well as hunting down battleships and hitting everything with your torpedoes. But you do have guns. The guns tend to be very low caliber, so they have a tough time doing damage against bigger ships. But that's why you have those torpedoes. Um, there are The USN is a good, what I would call a hybrid line, um, when they are good for, not only their guns are good, as well as their torpedoes being relatively good. There are ships like the IJN line, the Japanese line, that are going to be more focused on torpedoes. And then there's lines like the Russian line, which are going to be more focused on more guns than anything. So I find this USN line to be very, very good. Not only do you have really quick um, torpedo reload, but you also do have um, some really good guns. And you can be very, very effective against basically all classes, as well as using that smoke and going kind of crazy against everything. And being very, very low on detection, being very, very sneaky. Downside about this class, though, is you're going to have a very small health pool. So if things are starting to focus you, you have the smallest health pool of everything. So if things are focusing you and everyone's hitting their shots, you're going to get knocked down pretty quick. Upside about this class is it doesn't have a Citadel, which you will see in every other class besides this. So it's not like you can get basically one shot by guns through a devastating strike like that. You can still get devastating strike, but it's just pure of full pens or over pens. So that, that big chunk of damage through Citadels isn't going to happen on this ship although you do have a very low health pool it still can you still can get one shot by guns um, just a lot more shells have to hit compared to everything else but overall i find this to be one of the more fun lines in this in this game it's my favorite line to play and i do recommend it because i just find it to be overall really fun for you guys so for the next class the cruisers Cruisers are kind of this middle support class, and they're a good, another good class to just kind of start out with and just get a feel of the game. And the reason why is it's a very hybrid class. And what I mean by it's a good mix of being able to hit hard as well as being able to be relatively stealthy and kind of a faster firing ship like the destroyer. So this whole this whole game has a kind of rock, paper, scissors, right? This is, between the four classes, destroyers are trying to hunt the battleships. The CVs are trying to hunt the destroyers. The cruisers are trying to support the battleships with uh, shooting down planes and killing the DD. So there's this whole kind of circle of life in World of Warships. But cruisers are this very good line, I think, to start out with because it, it's a lot of action. and You can constantly do things uh, a lot because it, uh, they have a high rate of fire. They can do a lot of damage as well as just being relatively quick. Of course, at lower tiers, they're not going to be extremely fast, but they're a good line to just get used to uh, helping you with your lead time because of their rate of fire. Because basically what you're going to be doing, although some of these do have torpedoes, um, it's going to be mainly about your guns. This is going to be a gun class. And the impact you can have on this game with a cruiser is actually really good because with a high rate of fire and using HE ammo, which we'll go over AP ammo and a, uh, AP ammo and HE ammo in a later video on when the best time to use those though. But using HE ammo, you're basically going to start fires. So what the cruiser can do is if it's playing correctly, can really do a lot of damage by lighting everything on fire and um, forcing the team to basically get burnt down and having a massive, massive impact. Of course, too, if you get into a good position, you can uh, shoot cruisers and, you know, with a high rate of fire and a lot of shells going out, like the St. Louis, which is one of the first USN cruisers, you can shred a DD in just a few salvos and they can't really do anything really to defend themselves. So 
I really do recommend playing cruisers because I just think it's a good way to get used to the game. Not only are they fast, um, not quite as fast as destroyers. Of course, destroyers are going to be the stealthiest and the fastest. But uh, cruisers are a lot of fun to play, a good mix, and um, they will have a really big impact on the game, especially at early tiers. Uh, and you can really kind of just get used to how the game plays, how it feels, and just overall just have a lot of fun. Um, downside is, is battleships can blop you, which we'll get into in a second. Um, but really, overall, this is a really important class. This is kind of like the base of the team, I would say, because you are the quote-unquote support class. Of um, You kind of do the jack-of-all-trades with this class. So you're supporting your DDs to kill the enemy DDs. You're supporting your battleships to kill the planes in the sky. And on top of that, being able to do a lot of damage. So an overall just really good class. The really jack-of-all-trades class. And I highly recommend going down this as well. Just having fun and um, playing the really fun cruisers that there are in this game. So battleships are the big boy class of this game, and what I mean by that is you are basically the tank. You are going to have the highest health pool of all the classes, um, tier for tier, and really can have a massive impact on this game. You are going to be shooting out a bunch of really big shells. You're going to fire the biggest calibers uh, shells in the game for the tier, and uh, you're going to be able to have massive impact on the game with these abilities to basically dev strike things. So if you are going to hit things in the Citadel, which we'll go over kind of the makeups of ships later in a different episode, but you'll have the ability to have a massive impact with your armor piercing shells to obliterate especially cruisers other battleships off the planet um, which is an upside and a downside with those big shells comes an extremely long reload so if you do miss you have to wait which is another reason why it's a bit of a down like i don't really recommend it right off the start because they tend to be very slow and the reload tends to be a bit long but when your when your shots do line up, it's an amazing feeling, and you, all those armor piercing shells kind of go on where you want the target to be, and then you're gonna make certain ships disappear, and that's the best feeling. So with the highest health pool, the biggest calibers, but it's gonna have the slowest reload out of all the classes, as well as um, as well as being very susceptible to both aircraft and destroyers and torpedoes. But when your shots do line up, you can be massively impactful, um, going from dev strike to dev strike from kill to kill especially if a cruiser is giving you broadside you will definitely be able to um just destroy that ship and uh, make them pay for being that there's no other ship that's really going to be able to punish as much as a battleship can on a consistent basis with its big shells and when you do catch a ship like this sitting broadside and you get your shells on point that's something awesome so battleships definitely worth checking out um if you like that big impactful hit and you want to have a big impact on the game battleships are going to be for you so certainly, last but not least, is going to be the aircraft carriers or the CVs, as they're called in game. And this is going to be basically a game within a game. I always, if it's like, if you like RTS games, you're really going to enjoy this class. Although I don't recommend this class for newer players, and I'll get to that just in a second. But this is going to be a class that if you really enjoy, let's say, StarCraft or insert whatever RTS and MOBA, uh, top-down view, as you saw with the other three classes, they get basically that third-person view. This is a top-down. You kind of get to see the whole game, and you are kind of that super support class here um, what you're going to try to do is you're going to try to take out enemy planes with your planes um, try to beat basically the 1v1 with the cv as well as pumping out damage with your torpedo bombers and dive bombers um, it's a good class to kind of get an idea of how it works i don't recommend newer players playing this class i recommend new players checking it out though um, to get an idea of what they're seeing and how they're doing it they've recently changed it so tier four and fives can't do uh, manual drops, which we'll get to a later point where we'll kind of show off what auto drops and manual drops are. I would recommend mastering this class right off the bat. I would stick to some other ones, but overall, I would I would play that class at least once you unlock it to see what they are seeing because that'll actually help you play against the CV better. So it's a top-down view um, where you get to use your planes to not only attack the enemy ships, but as well as well as support your ships by clearing out the planes and being just this really nice nice person to save your team from taking extra damage so uh the cvs although a really good class to learn the ability of i don't recommend it right off the start because i feel like it's a bit of a tougher class to learn easily the hardest class to learn in this game um off the bat so overall there's a there's basically a, a ship for each person depending on what, if you want to be a stealthy uh player like the destroyer you're gonna love that if you want to be kind of a jack of all trades and be a cruiser there's that if you want to be that big boy with the big hits and, and kind of destroying ships with one big uh swoop of ammo you can do that or if you want to be kind of that top down rts player there's a class for you there's a class for everybody this is what i always recommend though first of all 
stick with one nation, either the IGN or the USN, and get to the feel of all of the ships. Figure out which ship you really want to play. All right. So I, I recommend playing all the classes, going out there and getting to the tier four and tier five. That'll get you the ability to check out all the different classes and then go into what you want to do. From there, I would really stick to two classes, your two favorite, because what, what's going to end up happening, and we'll get to this in a different episode too, is credit potential and, and how credits and will kind of be a problem at some point. Um, but one thing I would recommend is picking two classes and what you're going to do is find out which classes you like the most so if you really really enjoy destroyers play destroyers you're going to love it you're going to have fun go out there and play it if you really enjoy cruisers play those battleships blah 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 whatever one you want then what i recommend is playing the as your second class play the ships or play the class that counters the counter to your class that's counterception i know so for an example if you are playing um let's say destroyers what's going to end up happening is you're going to be having a you're going to be getting pretty annoyed of cruisers right so what you're going to want to do is you're going to be very annoyed of cruisers so you're going to want to play something that is really good at killing cruisers which are battleships you kind of get what i'm saying so let's say you're loving battleships and you're really annoyed of of destroyers they're all torping you maybe you want to go check out uh play with cruisers or, or maybe go play some other gunboat destroyers something that counters what is countering you i always recommend doing that because you're going to love playing whatever your favorite class is but you're eventually going to get annoyed of whatever is countering you so what are you going to want to do you're going to want to go and punish basically whatever is countering you with their counter so let's say if you're having trouble you're playing destroyers a lot you're having troubles with cruisers go out and play some battleships and kind of stick with cru destroyers and and battleships Let's say um, you're having trouble with uh, CVs going out there and you want to play something with some AA or just go play CVs. You can do that. So it, that's uh, to a point, I would play all the classes, get to tier four, check out, find out which classes you want. And then from there, probably stick to, to two, maybe three if you really want. Uh, you don't want to spread your resources too thin, but really picking one main class to kind of focus on at first and then figure out a, a class that would counter whatever is countering you as your second class. But guys, that's a, a, a relatively brief, not the briefest is I, 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 I want to make these videos as brief as possible, but I want, I don't want to like skip out on a bunch of information. So um, I'll try to make these a bit shorter in the future. But anyways, guys, I want to make a quick video going over all the different classes in the game and try to help you guys figure out what is going to be the most fun for you and kind of go over briefly what each class does. But anyways, that's going to be it. episode six all the classes, their strengths and weaknesses, and hopefully this helps you guys pick whatever ships you are going to enjoy the most. And I hope you guys are enjoying this series because I'm enjoying making it. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.